are back with the Battles of Legends Armageddon. It is finally here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this, like I said. You know, I did my first video the other day. I don't know what the order I'm uploading this. I might upload the first video like a couple days ago. I might just do back to back. I might, I might, I might do back to back, back to back, to back, back to back. Tongue twister. Anyways, so from perspective, I bought 60 loose packs. I got two booster boxes on the way. You're gonna get at least, at least two more videos on top of this one. And if we pull it, great. If not, I'm probably not gonna hunt for it. Unless, like I said, you guys are really interested in seeing me go for it. But then again, I've heard about the Starlight Rarities. I know how crazy they are. I don't know if I'm gonna, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be sane enough to keep going, if that makes sense. But hey, it might be fun. And again, uh, these packs aren't that crazy expensive. So we'll see what happens. So again, comment section below. If you wanna see the hunt for a 10,000 dragon, let me know down below and let me see what you guys think. Now again, as I mentioned in my first video, I think it's all, it's, it's I don't know what it is. I don't think the 10,000 dragon is that great. I mean, the effect isn't that good. I think just the fact that it's a 10,000 card, which is why everybody wants it. And on top of that, the hype. You know, when, some, when, when the community on the internet talks about like, hey, everybody needs this. This is crazy. You got to pull for this card. Everyone's going to do it. I wasn't even going to pull for this until uh, Lootbox, the homie Lootbox, hit me up on, on, on Instagram a couple weeks ago. I was like, you going for the 10,000 dragon? I was like, no, not really. And, and then here I am. Here I am. As a, as a card collector, this is what happens. I got drawn in. So yeah, I get I loot box, I guess I guess I am going for it, but I'm not gonna go crazy for it. Come on! Okay, let's keep it going. I gotta say though, the uh, the Starlight Rarities look absolutely beautiful. Yo, also, can you pull the secret rare at least? I mean, can I can I can I get the Chaos uh the Chaos Armageddon Dragon? That'd be kinda hype. I remember when that first came out, um, was it like two years ago at a um, world tournament? Like the the very first card that was like given out, that was that card was valuable. I think it still is valuable to this day. And I remember seeing that, I was like, man. I, I don't really care about the current meta of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I want that as a collector. <laughs> I remember seeing that. So this is officially the first time when that card came out in English. Let me know down below. Weathering Soldier, how about you weather the storm and bring me the the, the crazy card I'm trying to pull over here. All right, let's keep it going though. But yeah, I, I'm up. I'm just upload both of these videos. You know, um, I'm recording them obviously in the same sitting, and I think based on uh, how the reaction goes over the course. Over the next couple of days, it's going to dictate whether or not I buy more. And honestly, the thing also what's come down to is is, is how obtainable it's going to be. Because when I try to get Toon Chaos, I actually try to buy more boxes, but <laughs> there was so much demand around it that was like the prices were like double, literally within like rise that came out, they were just like almost impossible to get on normal prices. So I was like, all right, well I guess I'm done with that. As much as I would have loved to hunt for um, the um, the Chaos Emperor Dragon and that set, ironically, and the Black Lost Soldier. I didn't care enough to want to, like, you know, pay double if that makes sense. You know, I'm a collector. I like to, I like to open cards. I like to uh, revisit my childhood. But if it's something new, I'm like, eh, whatever. You know, I give it a shot at least once or twice. This is me doing it once or twice. But yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If I get more packs for low, uh, then I might grab some more. But for now, don't expect this like an occurring thing. But hey, shout out to the ones who've been asking for modern day Yu-Gi-Oh openings on the channel for like the last couple months. Cause I told you I was gonna do them eventually. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Also, once again, I want to point out I am doing this late at night. Hopefully, I don't wake up everybody in my building because that could very well happen. You know, I get kind of loud. I get slightly loud sometimes. It's funny. I saw uh, somebody emailed me earlier, and uh, oh nice. Somebody emailed me earlier and was like, um, they pulled a shadowless Charizard. I'm like, yo, send me that video. I want to see that reaction. And I, I kid you not, the reaction was just like, up. Oh, yep, there it is. And I'm like, that's it. I yelled seeing the video. So yeah, naturally I'm just a loud person when it comes down to, you know, opening cards and just like seeing stuff like that pop up, but the, apparently there's others who can just do it in silence, and I, I, I don't know. Never for, forget, going back to when I was a kid and pulled something as stupid as a base set Venusaur. I told the story before, but the, the, it's funny because, you know, uh, my mom bought me and my friend a booster pack each, a base set booster pack. And I remember uh, I was like, yeah, you can have this one, I'll take this one. And uh, naturally, I got the Charizard pack, and I gave him, I think, the uh, the uh, the Blastoise pack. Of course, he pulled the Blastoise out of the Blastoise pack, and I pulled the Venusaur out of the Charizard pack. Yep, I was still excited. <laughs> it's funny because I opened my pack first. I opened my pack first, and um, and I was all excited. I was screaming and stuff, and then I opened his, and I'm just like, ah, that was that was. I gave you that pack, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but naturally when it comes out opening cards, I, I'm, I'm just a loud person. I mean, you, you guys know this. If you've been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you know how loud I can get. But I don't try to like blow out your eardrums. It just happens naturally. Like I said, if, uh, if they ever got a Starlight Rarity Blue Eyes, let me pull that on this channel. Don't wear headphones. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. 
let's see what we got out of this one. Again, I don't know if the star rarity has any kind of like texture to it. So like when I move the card over, I don't know if I'm going to be actually feeling it. And no, like I assume because you know it's a special stock, it should probably feel different and weird. But uh, again, I won't know until it happens. But I will tell you this: if I do feel that card and I see that you know that a card feels different, I'm just going to assume the star rarity. I'm probably not going to tell you. <laughs> I you might. Maybe you might see me like do something like this as I like open a pack, but uh, you might not know. You might not know until it pops up. So we're gonna all discover this together. It's the beauty of, of, of having a channel like this is, is the part. It's the journey. It's the journey of open cards. Let's see what we got. I wish they wouldn't have put it in the front. I mean, if you're gonna put the card in, in basically either in the front or the end, you might as well put it in the end. So like when you open the pack, you can just kind of go from start to finish. I don't know why you wanna like spoil it. Like. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Here's the card he wanted. Uh, the rest of the cards suck, but here it is. I mean, it's hyped to get it, but it's like at the same time, it's like, bruh, could at least put it in the back. But you know what? Be smart. Put it in the middle. I would say you should put the hype card in the middle in case for some reason it happens to me any kind of like damage to the packs. Like, uh, so the card in the front and the back, which is like the crazy hit, doesn't get damaged. That'd be like, imagine pulling the uh, the ten thousand dragon and you see like a dent because it's in the front. Like, why would you do that? Who designed that? question I have man the sound of opening packs there's nothing like it I I don't care what anyone says that that sound is very satisfying I think that's why I personally like to watch uh, card openings videos because I want to just hear that crinkle I want to hear that I mean just listen to, this. listen to this hold on tell me it's not satisfying I refuse to believe that there's someone out there that doesn't think that it's not satisfying Ooh, that sound I will never get tired of it Although I gotta say, opening Pokemon cards, uh, they they hit different. Those hit way different. Let's see what we got? Anything in this one? No, but at least we're getting some new stuff. It's funny because like I, I kind of expected that the the secret rare set must not be that big because I was doubling up on a lot. I was getting a lot of like Numeron networks and stuff like that. But there's actually uh, way more secret rares than I thought. And now they're kind of starting to pop up like the the new ones. All right though, but speaking of secret rares. Let's take it to the next level. Give me, give me my, my Starlight Rarity 10,000 Dragon right now. <sighs> I have to kind of like check for a second because I know the uh, number 39 is a, um, it's a number card. So <laughs> I wouldn't immediately notice that I have it when I'm holding. Unless of course the card just stands out that much more as far as how it looks. Because again, I, I've never personally held a Starlight card, so I don't know like how much shine there is behind it until I'm actually like reading it. But for now, I'm just like, oh, it's just a secret rare card, whatever. Okay, we're almost down to the last batch. Crazy to think that I went 60 whole packs without pulling this card. Unbelievable. Can I get a refund? Nah, this is the thing. This is the reason why I don't like uh, the concept of hunting for Starlight cards because like I know how rare they are. You know, uh, this is not the first time they released them. I remember when they initially introduced them. I was going to pull this out of a single box. I'm like, Brian, no, you're not. But anywho, as I was saying though, like when when the Starlight first came out, I already knew like what I was like signing up for if I ever decided to like hunt for the newer cards. That's why I just don't do it. You know, I even don't like uh, hunting for newer Pokemon cards because like I know there's like 85 secret rares in every single set now with how many hyper rares exist. So it's like it looks like Bomberman. Um, that's why I don't, I don't do it. Fossil Dragon School Gills. We got something new. That's why I usually don't don't really go that crazy for newer sets. That's why I also don't really care about Sword and Shield's new stuff either. Because it's like, all right, well, I buy a box, get 36 packs, I will pull that one Rainbow Rare Butterfree, and then it's like, all right, well, the rest of the box is not really worth opening. But that's why, that's why I try not to do it as much. That's why I like the older sets more. Back in my day, high rate draw. You know, you buy a booster box, you know, 36 packs for Pokemon, 24 for Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, you're gonna get like 12 Hollows in Pokemon. You're gonna get uh, six Hollows in Yu-Gi-Oh, and you ain't gotta worry about the multiple variations and stuff. Back in my day, it was way better. <laughs> I become one of the, one of those kind of collectors now. That's crazy. Give me something good. Uh, another uh, another what should I call it? Number card. But yeah, but that's why I like I, that's why I like to enjoy opening you know vintage stuff so much more. I mean, yeah, it gets very expensive, which you know can can uh, kind of pile up. But the thing is, it's like if, like for example, right now I have like I have about I want to say. How many was it? There's probably like 80 vintage packs in my um, to open box. And of those 80, there are a lot of a lot of them are like heavily weight packs, which means there's hollows in there. I know if I open those, the hollows are gonna be fire. 
the open packs nowadays, it's like, well, you got a hollow or hyper rare, it doesn't really mean anything. Whereas in the older days, granted, I guess you could probably also argue maybe in like 10 years from now, these cards are going to be worth so much more. Um, but yeah, that's why I like open the, other, the, the older stuff more because it's like, yeah, it's more expensive. But if you think about it, you'll probably spend more, uh, more money on your sets buying the cards over and over and over again as opposed to just buying like the good stuff. I can either spend a thousand dollars on a bunch of hidden fates, or I can just spend a thousand dollars on like I don't know a handful of vintage packs that could potentially even be guaranteed hollows that could have good hollows in them. So that, that's just how I feel about it. But I feel like I'm not the only person that thinks like that either. I'm just gonna go ahead and point out that this is probably not going to have a, a utopia in here. Is there all disciple a utopia in here, or a um, or a ten thousand dragon? I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. We, we're down to like. Uh, not that many packs left. Not that many packs left. So I, I, I don't know. By the way, can you weigh these cards? Like the the Starlight weigh more. One reason I asked that is because if I'm gonna buy more cards in the future for uh, Battle Legends, I want to know should I like be weary about uh, weight packs or what? Because honestly, I'd rather just do this while I buy loose packs because one is cheaper and two, uh, I want to be able to get potentially you know. The chance to pull way more fire as opposed to just you know getting a box that won't necessarily guarantee um that might guarantee me like one good hit let me know down below yo can i get an armageddon at least one one chaos uh dragon no we cannot not a single one man you know considering how many secret rares are in the set and i've doubled up on a lot of them they, those could have been chaos emperor dragon uh, armageddon oh we're down to like the last two packs oh my gosh if we can, if, no, if we end on the last pack and get the Armageddon Dragon, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be happy. And I got him! Let's go! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful card. That is such a beautiful card. It's like, what, like a $60 card. It's not worth It's not worth that much. But yo, I just want to see one pop up. I'm happy. Okay. All right, where's my sleeve? I am indeed blind. The sleeves were literally in front of me, but there was, uh, <laughs> there was a little box on top of them. All right. You know what? I'm gonna chalk this up to a success. I'm gonna definitely chalk this video up to a success because we got one. Out of 60 packs, we got one. All right, last one. Let's just go ahead and pop into this. Like I said, I got two more boxes on the way. Uh, I'm not necessarily buying those just to like try to pull the dragon, like I said. But if it pops up, it pops up. You know, it's gonna be fun. But we got the Cast Emperor Dragon uh, of Armageddon, and we're gonna end it at a number. Uh, <laughs> A number FO, F0, Utopic Future Slash. Okay, all right, all right, not bad. Hey, but we got the king. We got the king, you know, back in my day. Chaos Emperor Dragon used to be so cool. Oh my gosh, that's kind of nostalgic just seeing that. Again, I remember when this was first uh, given out at, was it 2018, 2019's championship? And I was like, I kind of want that. I mean, I don't care about Exus or Pendulum cards, um, but I kind of wanted it just because, again, it was a rebirth of a, of a classic monster, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, comment section below. Let me know if you want to see another attempt at the uh, Battle Legends openings. And we'll see what happens. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.